Hello everybody. Welcome back to Bethany Boyd Art Studio. So if you've been here before, welcome back. If you haven't, hello, I am Bethany Boyd. I am an artist and I'm posting weekly videos or at least trying to. I am a mother of four, so there are times that kids get in the way. But if you're here, welcome. I am here today to give you a little bit of a description about my most recent painting that I have completed. So you can see her behind me, this right here, this massive painting. This one is the first in a series I'm going to be starting. All right. So this is one of Dorothea Lange's photos. You may recognize it. It's really famous. It's called The Migrant Mother. Um, just so you know, the woman in the photo was Florence Owens Thompson. Uh, she was born in 1903 and died in 1983. So this piece was about people from the Great Depression around the, the time that everyone was having to leave because of the, the droughts and everything. So. Um, a lot of photos similar to this were taken so um, but anyways to my series that I'm about to start so this is the inaugural piece to my series my series is going to be called reviving the past so with this series I plan on taking old photos and bringing them to life with paint now I don't know about you, but sometimes when I see these really old black and white photos, I struggle to connect with them. So I had the idea after seeing a piece similar to this, it actually was one of, this was one of the pieces I saw um, that was colorized. It made me realize just how much more vivid that became. And I wanted to be able to recreate that with paint. So i am looking for suggestions i am looking for submissions um if you have any suggestions as to pieces that you think would go well in this series so just let me know you can reach me on my facebook page it's bethany boyd art studio uh you can also reach me at bethany boyd art at yahoo.com if you're old school and like to email um, you can leave a comment on this video, but I am looking for suggestions. So if y'all have anything, let me know. It doesn't have to be famous. It can be like a personal photo. Um, I do actually really prefer having a story behind it. So this, this mother, she went through a lot. All right. I, I definitely identify with her because she has a lot of kids and so do I. And she was going through some hard times. I've gone through some hard times. So this piece was really significant to me, but I'm looking for anything that just shows humanity in the past. There's so many times we hear these stories about past people, um, past events, past places, and it's really hard to connect or to just pinpoint a place that resonates with us today. So that's what I'm trying to do here. I want to make sure that we can see these places, these people, these events that were in the past that might not be the easiest to connect with. And I want to bring them to life. I want to make them look like they are with us. All right. I'm obviously she's very big. All right. Like she's a really big piece. They don't have to all be that big. Okay. So if you have a smaller piece, um, as long as it is good quality, I need good quality pictures. I want you to be able to zoom in on it and be able to see like the details on the face and stuff like that. Um, if it's good quality and has a really good story behind it, I would really appreciate the suggestions. I'm going to be planning on making between 10 to 20 of these paintings in this series. So I know it's going to take me a while. If you are, um, trying, you, you have this piece in mind, like this old photo from your family or whatever and you just know it's in storage or whatever don't worry about it I'm probably gonna be doing this for a whole year or more okay so if you want to go in and dig it out and find it just let me know um, so yeah that's just me describing the series that I'm going to be doing here um, if you want any suggestions for painting videos coming up let me know 
like I said, I'm trying to post weekly. So if you have a suggestion, uh, one of the ones I know I'm going to be making soon is how I mix flesh tones. Like you can see here. Um, I have a little bit of description in this video, um, about how I do those. So just kind of stay tuned. Um, but if you have any other suggestions for videos, just let me know. Um, I would be glad to do it. If you just have a Q and A session, I will be glad to do that too. Um, so yeah, without further ado, the rest of this video is going to be a slideshow describing my step-to-step -step process in making the migrant mother. Now, now I am sorry, I did not have a good webcam when I first started this painting series. So all I did was document with photos. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, the photos are going to be in a row. I have some little descriptions on them and I hope that you all have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook. All right. Remember Bethany Boyd art studio. It's on Facebook. All right. See you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.